It looks absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. Do you see how that binds together? This is fabulous. Hey friends, Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new to the channel, we are so happy that you are here today and hope that you consider subscribing to us. We do all kinds of fun stuff and learn new things. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make squash casserole. This is an excellent, excellent way to use up your squash. I mean, I know that, um, you know, I love fried squash. I love squash just sauteed in butter and onion and mushroom. Squash is great on kebabs, on the grill, it's just, squash is just all around a great vegetable um, but today I'm going to show you how to make squash casser casserole and I'm telling you this is an excellent way to use up your squash so let's go ahead and get started the very first thing I'm doing is I cut up some onion and some fresh bell pepper out of the garden I'm gonna saute these for just a little bit um, I'm sauteing these in my homemade ghee and if you're interested in making ghee it's basically like shelf stable butter but the um, smoke rate is just really high so you can fry in it, you can saute in it, you can bake with it, and you can also just use it like on your baked potato if you want. Anything that you use butter on you can use ghee on. But I'll link that video down in the description if you're interested in learning how to make homemade ghee. It's super simple. But anyway, that's what I'm frying my veggies in here. This is just green onion like I said out of the garden and um, some diced onion. I just threw in a little bit of water to that. So right now I'm just cutting up this squash into kind of uniform pieces here and tossing them in my pan. I'm going to um, cook these for a little bit on the stove just to kind of soften them, just to get them tender. I think I've cut up about four squash here. I was kind of aiming for about 10 cups. But I really am making it in this casserole dish, so I'm trying to make it to where um, it'll, you know, fill this up. I'll put the recipe down in the description below, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. Oh, my mouth is already watering, guys. This squash already looks delicious to me. Um, I wanted to let you know that I have not added salt to this squash. I'm not going to add anything to it while I am um, softening my squash here because after that water, after I strain it out and that water cools down, I will water my plants with that nutrient-filled water. So good for the plants. So anyway, I'm not adding salt to mine. You can, you know, add salt if you'd like. So the squash is good and boiled. It's done. I'm looking to be able to um, poke through this peel pretty easy. That's what I'm looking for because it's going to go in this pan and I'm going to mash it up with a potato masher and we want to be able to um, cut up the peel to where it'll be kind of in pieces. Okay, these are still steamy and I am just going to squish these in here. We're not looking for a puree necessarily. We're just um, chopping, giving the squash a rough chop. I have let this cool down quite a bit in the pan here. The pan is not hot to the touch anymore. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the ingredients to it. Um, first thing I'm gonna put in there is mayo. And I'm gonna add about three heaping tablespoons of mayo. There's about three. Go ahead and stir that in. I'm going to go ahead and add some eggs. Those are small eggs, so I went ahead and added two. Adding in my diced uh, bell pepper and diced onion, sauteed. I might have added in a tad too much mayonnaise. Um, I am eyeballing it here right now. Mayo is such a good thing to add into your baked dishes with vegetables. It just gives it such a unique flavor that people can't really pinpoint what that is. But you eyeball it and add as much as you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and add, actually let's go add some cheese next. I'm just grabbing a handful here. About a cup and a half I'd say. Gonna add some buttery crackers. 
You can add whatever kind of crackers that you have. I just happen to have buttery crackers. I don't think I have any saltines at the moment. There's two, four, six, eight, nine, mm, 10, 11, 12. Let's add about 12. What we're gonna do is just crunch these up and put them into the mix. This will soak up some of the juice that the squash gives off while it's baking and just kind of give it a thicker additive. So let's just start with that. Fold those in. You can pour this directly into your casserole dish and mix it all up in there. I just decided just to do it in the pan and then I'll pour it into my casserole dish when I'm done mixing everything in. Okay, we're gonna add some pepper, a generous amount of pepper here. Like I said, I'll put the recipe in the description below and you can, you know, add to it or, you know, use more or less. It's up to you, to your taste. I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt. I didn't add any salt to my water. So I'm adding a little bit here to my dish. Go ahead and stir that up. I added about four more buttery crackers into this. I love those buttery crackers. Mm. This looks so delicious already, and I know it already is, before we even bake it. Oh, by the way, I have the oven heating up to 350 as we speak. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of here. And spread that out over the top. Now we're gonna crunch up a few more buttery crackers on top. I decided to go ahead and grab a couple of more for the top of here. <laughs> I grew up in the 70s and I am a huge fan of paprika on top of your dish. This is a must. <laughs> and you know what, it just gives it a little bit of color. It's kind of a bland dish. When you add this, it just pops. And whoopsie. I got a little heavy handed right here. Hey, that's okay, it'd be just fine. We're gonna bake this at 350 and you're basically just gonna be cooking the egg that's in there and um, heating, you know, melting the cheese and everything like that. We're gonna throw this into a 350 oven. Look at that. That cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes, and doesn't that look divine? I cannot wait to dig into this. It looks fabulous. I went ahead and let this set for about 15 to 20 minutes to settle, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this. It looks absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. Do you see how that binds together? This is fabulous. This stuff is to die for, guys. It is absolutely delicious. It's so easy. You can use up some of your squash. And I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.